It's that time of year where we're turning on the heat, so it's always a good thing to get it checked out and maintained before the winter to make sure everything is good to go for the winter months ahead. In this video, I'm going to show you my process on how I do a maintenance on a heat pump package unit. Let's do some work. Hey guys, my name is Zach Desjardins, and I like to make videos on HVAC installs, repairs, maintenances, basically anything that has to do with heating and air conditioning. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Now again, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a maintenance, more of an inspection actually. I'm not gonna get into cleaning the system. I'm just gonna go into how I inspect it, check it out, and test the operation to make sure everything is running like it's supposed to. So let's dive right into it. All right, so the first thing I like to do is give it a quick visual inspection and then go ahead and turn the system on and test everything out. I don't want to go into checking a bunch of stuff before I even turn it on because if there's something wrong and it's not turning on properly straight out the gate, then I don't want to waste a bunch of time checking a bunch of stuff. I want to dive into why it's not running. So what I like to do is just go ahead, remove the main panel. and give it a good visual and check everything out really quickly to make sure it looks okay. And if we're good to go, I'll go to the thermostat, turn it on to the electric heat mode first and start checking everything out. So I'm just gonna look everything over really quickly, make sure there's no burnt wires, everything looks intact, which looks good to me. So I'm gonna go inside, turn the thermostat on to heat mode and get this thing checked out. All right, so I just wanna grab my multimeter and go ahead and get the electric heat amped out. So on this system, I've got 10 kW on the electric heat, so I should be amping out roughly around 40 amps. And I've got 41.15 currently. So that's good. That tells me that the full kit is operational and it's within spec. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is grab my field piece wireless psychrometers. These are the model number JL3RH. These things are awesome. They can Bluetooth up to a thousand feet away to your tablet or smartphone, and you'll use the Fieldpiece Job Link app for that. And what that's gonna do is, I'm gonna put one in the supply and one in the return, and that's gonna give me a temperature rise on the electric heat. So before I go in the house and put the probes inside the ducts, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the Fieldpiece Job Link app, because they just released a new firmware update to where these can read up to 250 degrees inside the ducts. So that's awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these things turned on. I've got the app opened up and I'm gonna open up measurements, go to the wrench, go to the tool manager. All right, so on both devices, it says there is an update available. So what I'm gonna do is click on it and go ahead and go through the process. And then it tells you what the directions are on how to remove the battery door, remove one of the batteries, hold down the button for 40 seconds. To, so now I'm gonna go through the process of updating the firmware on each probe. So it tells you to power off the tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the tool off now. Unscrew the battery cover, remove one battery. Press and hold the power button for 40 seconds to discharge the tool. All right, so the 40 seconds has gone by. Now it says to press and hold the power button for five seconds while at the same time installing the removed battery. LED will turn to solid blue if successful. So one, two, three, four, five. So once you've gone through that process, you can go ahead and put the battery door back on, put your screw back in and you're good to go. It'll be ready and it'll read up to 250 degrees. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed inside and check my temperature rise. So on the supply side, you wanna make sure you put the psychrometer down into the duct. Return side, you wanna use the magnet and stick it on the outside. So it looks like our return temperature is 74 and a half degrees and our supply is right at 95. So that's giving us about a 20 degree temperature rise. So now I'm gonna go ahead and amp out the blower motor. The blower motor is attached to this other circuit here, which is the 30 amp circuit, which is connected to the compressor section. So I can go ahead and just amp out that wire. It looks like we're pulling 2.7 on the blower. So that's within spec as well. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get the electric heat turned off and turn on the heat pump. All right, so before I turn the heat pump on, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pressure probes out, get these things turned on, connected to the app, so they're ready to go. And then I'll go inside to the thermostat and get the heat pump turned on. What I like to do is go ahead and unwire the electric heat on the low voltage terminal block. So that way I can run the heat pump as long as I want and it won't satisfy quickly. All right, I'm gonna grab my third field piece psychrometer here and I'm gonna set this one up in the app for my outdoor temperature sensor. That way I can look at the chart and I can verify that my charge is accurate. All right, so now that I've got all my probes in place, I'm gonna go ahead and check the heating chart, look at my suction pressure and my head pressure with outdoor temperature, make sure they line up. And it looks like we are spot on there. So this system looks like it's performing well. So these flexible psychrometer probes are a must have in my opinion. They give you dry bulb, wet bulb, relative humidity, dew point, and enthalpy. Now they have a thousand feet in wireless range and they go from negative 40 degrees all the way up to 250 degrees with a new firmware update. So I highly recommend you guys pick one up yourself. All right, so now that I've got everything checked out and I'm very confident this system is operating at its full potential, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all my tools, get the panel put back on, and we're good to go. So one last thing I wanna do is check the defrost operation to make sure it goes in and out of defrost properly. And on this system, it has a manual button. All you have to do is hit the switch and it should go into defrost. So it's gonna go through its defrost operation and once it times out, it's gonna go back to normal operation in the heat mode. There we go, everything looks good. Make sure you reconnect that low voltage wire and the electric heat or you'll be back out here on a service call. Well, that's my process on how I check the operation on a heat pump package system. Now, if you guys have any questions about this process or any of the tools that I used, leave it down in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. It's that time of year where we're turning on the heat, so it's a good time to get the assist. It's that time, it's that time. So this, this time of year, or it's getting cold, or I totally lost what I was gonna say. So my name is Zach Desjardins, and I like to make videos on anything that has to do with heating and air. I like to make videos on. Hey guys.